Hey all, welcome to Share Trek. This is Raj here. Uh, today we are going to uh, talk about the VIR one 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 or V eleven eleven vaccine. Originally, I had planned to do a feature on Professor Ramara of Emory University, but I happened to find two vaccines that I want to talk about because these are in advanced stage compared to Professor Ramara's initiative that is yet to get into clinical trials. So I thought we'll give top priority to the ones which are already in clinical trials and then get back to Professor Ramara. After, uh, after that, I'll be talking about the uh, Alix vaccine, which is the second vaccine I want to talk about in, uh, on next Friday. And after next Friday, I'll have uh, Professor Ramarao profiled if I do not find any other vaccine. So that's the plan. Those who are viewing this channel for the first time here, uh, we have the Internet's most extensive coverage of HIV-related information, including knowledge uh, bites around the human immune system. And we follow the emerging uh, therapies for HIV, uh, through clinical trials to arms. So if you are interested in this kind of content, please subscribe and press notify uh, because we uh, every Friday we come up with a new segment and a lot of new information uh, that is generally not available anywhere. So this is the best place. Uh, that said, let's get started. Welcome back, friends. Uh, in response to the overwhelming demand that we have experienced for HIV content, um, I am announcing plans for a Patreon for the HIV community so that the dedicated programming can be consolidated. Subsequently, once the Patreon is established well, I plan to migrate fresh HIV content to a new YouTube channel 100% dedicated to HIV. And all this Patreon as well as the channel will be English and Hindi, bilingual so that people across the world can benefit from it and also people from India who speak Hindi. And here is a promo for the Patreon. I have already set up the Discord server and I have set up the Patreon, so it's ready for you to uh, click. Uh, if you go into the description of this video, you'll find a link. If you click that link, you can get into Patreon and you can sign up with ShareTrek. When you join the Patreon, you will get early access to HIV contents on a weekly basis before the content hits our YouTube channel. Higher levels of Patreon uh, have the exclusive ability to advance uh, live stream participation with Q&A, which will later come to the YouTube channel. And the top tier allows uh, voting on contents for the channel and participating in creation of contents as well as credits at the end of the uh, video as honorary producer of the segments. To check out all the details, click on the Patreon links below and uh, check out the Patreon. I would encourage you to join because it will also help me uh, to make sure that we have absolute focus on the HIV content and we keep on chasing the latest updates and uh, have a great interaction. Uh, signing up for the Patreon will also give you access to our Discord server where you can build your own community of uh, other uh, fellow uh, like-minded people and have your own discussions. And whenever I get some chance, I will definitely drop by into the Discord and have a chat with you guys. With that said, I would also like to um, let you know that all the levels will get access to Discord server at the bare minimum and all the levels will get uh, advanced access or early access to uh, HIV related videos um, before it comes to the regular uh, YouTube channel. So that's the plan and um, uh, I look forward to seeing you in Patreon. So please go ahead and uh, check out the Patreon uh, page, uh, link and uh, sign up. I would like to see you out there. Now on to Veer, which is a commercial stage immunology company that is focused on treating and preventing serious infectious diseases. 
Veer Biotechnology announced in December 2020 that the first patient has been uh, dosed in a phase one clinical trial of Veer 1111, an investigational HIV T cell vaccine. The vaccine was designed to elicit potentially protective immune responses that differ from other HIV vaccines by activating CD4 and CD8 T cells to attack virus-infected cells. The trial was conducted in uh, collaboration with Oregon Health and Science University's Vaccine and Gene Therapy Institute with support from the Bill and Melinda Gates Foundation. And guys, as you know, Bill and Melinda Gates Foundation has been very active in funding efforts like this, not only for HIV, but also for malaria and other conditions. So uh, I think that's a great, uh, a great job on, on part of Bill and Melinda Gates Foundation. This is something that um, many disease streams are finding very beneficial, and so is the case with this particular vaccine. The phase one clinical trial of VIR-1111 that started in December 2020 was a randomized placebo-controlled study to access the safety and immunogenicity of the vaccine. The trial enrolled healthy adults aged 18 to 50 who were at low risk of HIV infection and had previously been infected with human cytomegalovirus or HCMV. Participants received two doses of VIR-1111 or placebo through subcutaneous injection, and the trial uh, evaluated the vaccine's safety, uh, reac uh, reactogenicity, tolerability, and immunogenicity. In its third quarter 2022 earnings result, they said that the initial two um, uh, cohorts of the phase one trial of VIR-1111 an investigational HIV T cell vaccine had shown no safety signals or vector shedding and no sustained HIV insert specific T cell responses have been observed in the lower dose cohorts. Safety and immunology data from the highest dose uh, cohort three are expected in the first half of 2023. So around June 2023, we should uh, hear from them. However, learnings from VIR 1111 have informed the design of a new and improved VIR 1388, a next generation candidate that the company plans to initiate a phase one trial for in the second half of 2023. The trial is again being funded by Bill and Melinda Gates Foundation and the National Institute of Health's Division of AIDS through the HIV Vaccine Trials Network. The shift in emphasis to VIR-1388 suggests that the results from VIR-1111 may potentially not have been as positive as hoped. However, the positive thing is that we now have an additional therapy entering clinical trials this year, and it's also possible that VIR-1111 is still viable, but a more superior VIR-1388 also makes sense. So here is hoping for the best. So at this point of time, if we were to take a summary of everything, we still have got uh, AGT-103-T in the contention. We still have got uh, EBT-101. We have the Tel Aviv vaccine. We have the three Moderna um, uh, mRNA vaccines, which are in a clinical trial. And this year, we are going to hear about um, the outcome of uh, those clinical trials for them. And around middle of this year, we are going to hear about VIR-1111. So 2023 is a very happening uh, year for HIV-related therapies. And so I'm going to be keeping track of it on your behalf. And I would request that you uh, subscribe and press the notify button at the very minimum in order to make sure that you find out about these videos as and when I update them. And if you want to go a step further and help me in making sure that I'm able to keep track of all of these things and bring you the latest, please head on to the Patreon section uh, for HIV. This Patreon is not for the genomics guys. This is purely for you guys in HIV. So just go down to the description, click on the Patreon link, sign up, and we'll see you there. Thanks and have a great day. Bye for now.